Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Aaron. And today we're talking about the top 20 bourbons under $40. And we're talking about it because the problem with bourbon today is that the prices are going up and the availability is going down. And we don't like either of those things, personally speaking. Nope. So what we want to do here today is cover what we think are the best available bottles out there. And we've even ranked them. So if you're a little bit further along on your whiskey journey, stay tuned. Don't tune out just yet because the way that these are ranked is kind of fun. See if you agree, see if you disagree. If you're new to bourbon and you're watching this because it's a quite frankly, a really hopefully helpful video for mm -hmm. you, then we're going to speak to why each of these products are on the list. So listen to the why. Don't yeah. just take the number for what it is. We're going to talk about each product and who it's for. So keep an ear out for that. Here's the disclaimers right up front. While we're saying these are under $40 and they're readily available, market availability matters. It does vary. It, it differs. By state. And price differs by market as mm -hmm. well. So for instance, the first bottle on our list, it's a readily available product. It's just not in stock in stores around here for whatever reason, distribution purposes. Yeah. It'll be back in stock. What we can promise you here is that the prices on this list fit our market and the availability on this list means if you see this product, it's going to be on the shelf. You don't have to get it from a back room. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a hookup to get it. Nothing like this. These are available products if they are distributed in your market and they're in stock. Real quick before we get started into this list, if you like the style of content, like the video, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we do this stuff over here all the time. Our first bottle up on the list because we got to get right into it. We got 20 to cover and we, we want to keep this video keep short. Yep. So the first bottle up on the list, number 20, is going to be Knob Creek Nine Year. And we don't actually have a bottle of it. I just ha happen to have this bottle of Knob Creek single barrel in my lap for this occasion. <laughs> it just appeared in your lap like magic. <laughs> it, it did. But over there, you can see what the Knob Creek nine year looks like. It's a tan label. There you go. Good hand modeling there, Vanna. Thank you. And <laughs> so Knob Creek is a very classic bourbon, but it does have a nutty profile to it. So if you like peanut butter, if you like roasted peanuts or just regular old peanuts or whatever kind of nuts you like, mm -hmm. then Knob Creek could be the pour for you. It's a hundred proof, about 30 bucks. It's really hard to go wrong. It's really classic bourbon. We don't have a bottle because we finished ours. It is not a product we are going to rebuy. We just prefer to buy the single barrel, personally speaking. Yeah. But it is a great entry level bottle. It makes great cocktails and it's worth checking out if you've never tried it. Number 19 on our list, JTS Brown, which may seem a little contradictory to the Knob Creek thing. With the Knob Creek nine year, you get a nine year age statement. With this, you are getting a bottle in bond. So you know it's four years old and it's a hundred proof, but you don't know much past that. Yeah. Personally speaking, while Knob Creek nine year is good, that nuttiness goes a little far in Jim Beam's profile for us with the Knob Creek, whereas yep. this is from the Heaven Hill Distillery. And the nuttiness that you get off of it is a little bit more like peanut brittle. Yeah. You know, you're getting a little bit more of the caramels yeah. and the vanillas in there compared to the Knob Kinda Creek. Kind of some warmer notes in there with the peanut notes. Yeah, it softens it up a little yeah. bit. This is a little spicy, so don't venture into this if you're thinking you want something that's easy to drink, but you can throw it over ice. It'll hold up just fine. Fantastic pour. And for that right there is like 17 bucks. You can't beat can't it. Can't beat that. Absolutely. High, high value. Value is factored in to everything that's on this list. Number 18 on our list is Woodford Reserve. I actually wanted to get this on the list because I feel like Woodford gets overlooked, quite mm, honestly. Yeah. It's such a staple. It's on every shelf. The price is kind of high, you know, 30 to $35 for 90.4 proof. But truthfully speaking, it's got all your Hallmark bourbon staples in the bottle. It's got this kind of honey caramel sweetness to it. You get a little bit of citrus. It's inoffensive. It's very approachable. Yeah. And if you're looking at this list and you're looking for something that's easily approachable for a newcomer, it's really hard to go wrong with Woodford Reserve. Agreed. Honestly, 15 years ago, this was the bourbon I got off the shelf when I wanted to get something nice. And we've tasted it recently, as you can see in the bottle, and it still holds up as being a good solid pour. Number 17 on the list is a value superstar, 100 proof, $25, yeah. Old Forester Signature 100. You can try the 86 as well if you like but the 100 brings a little bit more to the equation. I would only get the 86 
if you're very new to bourbon mm. and you want something that's a little bit easier sipping, that doesn't have as much spice, but the 100 proof brings so much more flavor to the equation. Yeah. Old Forester's Hallmark is like this very nice cherry banana split type of note to it. So you get your cherry, your vanilla, a little bit of oak. It's just good. Yeah. It's just good quality whiskey for a really good price. It's really hard to beat this. If you like that fruit forward profile, if you like something that's generally sweet, mm -hmm. definitely check out Old Forester 100 Proof. 16 on our list, coming in at 100 proof again yeah. for $30. Just a little bit more than the Old Forester 100 is going to be Jack Daniels Bonded. Yep. And this takes everything that's in the Old Forester 100 and does it better. So if you try the Old Forester 100 and then you want to try something that's a little bit darker and more rich, then this is the bottle for you to yep. check out. It's hard to beat Jack Daniels. I mean, you get that banana vanilla sweetness in there. I almost say this is like banana pudding with vanilla wafers oh, is what you so get with good. this. I want that right now. It's a great bottle for 30 bucks. It's really hard to beat. Definitely check that out if those flavors sound good to you. Number 15 is a classic. We've got the old bottling over here because we finished our new bottling, but I've superimposed the Again, little thing over there. Magic. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So Evan Williams, 1783, really classic Kentucky bourbon, very fruit forward. It's really inexpensive. It's like 17 bucks in our market. And sometimes we can find it for $13 for a 750 milliliter. Which is great. It's hard to beat. There's really nothing offensive in the bottle. And it has this really classic Kentucky bourbon profile. Mm -hmm. And then it adds in to me, this little bit of strawberry pop tartness oh. to it. I think I'm hungry because now I want a strawberry pop tart as well as banana pudding. I can't mention pastries with her around. It's a real problem. It's, it is a problem. Number 14 on our list is another Evan Williams product. Mm -hmm. They make really great whiskey for a very inexpensive price. They do. Evan Williams White Label is a staple, bottled and bond, 100 yep. proof, yep. at least four years old. You know you're getting a quality product here. We it's will got, probably always have this in our home. We will. And I, will, I love this. I will say the top 10 are bottles we will rebuy instantly. Even though this is outside the top 10, it still is a bottle that we will rebuy. It's one of the few products in the second half of this list mm -hmm. that we will rebuy just because it's so inexpensive. But you get your classic Kentucky bourbon. You also get a little bit of nuttiness in there, like an almond peanuttiness. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a little bit of that in there and then it's got a little bit of bitterness to it. So if you're turned off by bitterness, I would just go ahead and get the 1783 that we just showed. Fair. But this has a little bit of like bitter chocolatey coffee type of notes Which to it. Which I love. That come through with the nuttiness. Yeah. And you get 100 proof for 17 bucks. It's really hard to beat. Goes great in cocktails. Evan Williams, there's a reason why they sell so much whiskey. It's good. Number 13 on our list is our first curveball, but not our last. This is Wheel Horse 101 Proof Bourbon coming at you from the Green River Distillery. Mm -hmm. It's really good, really good Kentucky whiskey, yep. bourbon specifically. Of course, that's what I meant to say. But this goes toe to toe with Wild Turkey 101. It is a little bit more pricey, which is why it's not higher up on the list. But being a 101 proof product for 30 ish dollars, readily available. Yeah. If you like Wild Turkey 101, you owe it to yourself to grab a bottle of this. Speaking of curveballs, let's go ahead and get into number 12, Dickel Eight Year Bourbon. I feel like this will be a divisive choice. It will be. People love to hate George Dickel whiskey, but this is not their orange, mineral, Flintstones, Flintstones vitamins, vitamins type of whiskey. Which honestly, I kind of like, but Right. Moving on. But they call this bourbon, not Tennessee whiskey, specifically because it is off profile for George Dickel. You get an eight year age statement. So you're getting some influence from the oak. It brings in all the caramel, vanilla, oak sweetness that you're used to from bourbons. But then it has this little bit of like an apple sweetness to mm -hmm. it as well. That's really good. 90 proof, $30 from Tennessee, but it is bourbon, which by the way, if you're still hung up on that from the Jack Daniels bonded, their master distiller said it's bourbon. Take it up with Chris Fletcher, not us. Just missing our top 10 in the 11 spot is Bowman Brothers from the Abraham Bowman Distillery. Now, 
This is a personal preference thing on both of our parts. Yep. If you like Buffalo Trace and you can't find it on the shelf, then get this product because it is literally Buffalo Trace distillate that has been taken out to the Abraham Bowman facilities in Virginia and they age it out there. Yep. It tastes like Buffalo Trace. It sits on the shelves. It's readily available for under $30, wow. like $27 in our market. You get all the same Buffalo Trace sweetness. There's a very prevalent lack of spice. That's definitely not the right way you say that. There is a lack of spice <laughs> that is very noticeable. Yes. So it is generally smooth and sweet. This is a very approachable pour. Please don't go out and overpay for Buffalo Trace products if don't. you can help it. Fight that FOMO, y'all. Fight, fight it. Fight the FOMO. Fight, fight the, the FOMO. fear of missing out. This product sits on shelves for the same price as Buffalo Trace. It's the same distillate as Buffalo Trace, and it tastes just as good as Buffalo Trace. Just grab a bottle of that. All right, cracking into our top 10 on the list. And these are all the bottles that we would actually spend our own money on buying again. We've got Maker's Mark 46. As you can see, our bottle's empty. We it's haven't yet got a new bottle, no. but that's what it looks like over there. I'll yeah. put it on the screen for you. They changed the design, but this is a really great product. It is a weeded product. You typically don't like weeded bourbons, mm -hmm. but you do like Maker's Mark. I do, which is shocking to me, I think, honestly. I think Maker's Mark 46 is probably one of the best products in Maker's Mark's catalog. The proof point is low, 94 proof. You're getting it for 30 bucks. That's hard to beat. Yeah. They take their regular product, they finish it with some French oak staves. And what it imparts is like this kind of pancakes and maple syrup breakfasty type it's good. sweetness. And not gonna lie, it's good. It's soft, it's easy to drink, which is kind of the hallmark of a weeded bourbon. You really can't go wrong if you want something that's fairly inoffensive. There's some people that don't like Maker's Mark's products. And if you have a bad experience in your background with Maker's Mark products in college, then you may not be able to get past that, but this is a good quality product, yeah. well-crafted. It's worth giving it a try again if you haven't had Maker's since college. 100%, Maker's 46 is a totally different ball game than the regular Maker's Mark. In the number nine spot is Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve. Another empty bottle. As you can see, we enjoyed this bottle thoroughly. Yep. Haven't quite got around to buying a backup, but we will get another one. It's a really good product. This was the first bourbon you ever tried that you said reminded me you of the strawberry shortcake doll. Oh man. Yeah. It is That's very so pleasant. It's very strawberry, fruity, sweet. But then what they do is they go into the charred barrel and they carve in like notches in the inside, which creates more surface area that gives it a little bit more mm. of an oaky influence. This product at 100 proof for $30 has gone toe to toe with E.H. Taylor small batch and beat it for us. It's got that same yep. type of fruity sweetness that comes out. And then you honestly, you get that extra oak influence from whatever barrel magic that they do. It's a great product. It's absolutely worth checking out if you haven't. This is one that will hold up in cocktails, hold up over ice, really fantastic pour, well worth your $30. Number eight might be the most classic bourbon on this list to be totally honest yeah. with all of y'all. This is Elijah Craig small batch, 94 proof, 30 bucks. This is your classic quintessential Kentucky bourbon, caramel, vanilla, oak. It also has a little bit of nuttiness in it. It's almost like peanut butter on toast with honey drizzled on it. Gosh, stop talking food, man. <laughs> I just want to eat. That's the profile that this has. It's got a little chocolatey sweetness to it. It's a tempered sweetness. So it's if you like really sweet stuff, you might not like this, but if you like a tempered sweetness mm -hmm. and that caramel candy bar chocolate flavor profile, it is really hard to beat this. This is one of the first bourbons I ever really fell in love with. It works great on ice. It holds up in cocktails. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why Elijah Craig and Heaven Hill, the distillery that makes it, is so big. It's because they know how to make really fantastic whiskey, and this bottle is no exception. Number seven on the list is another one that you might not have expected. This is Blue Note Crossroads, and caveat, in some markets, this is above $40. But oh. in our market, it is $40. It's gonna be towing that line for you. We think it's interesting enough to include in this list. Yep. We love Blue Note, we love what they do. We especially love the Blue Note uncut, unfiltered, but those are much higher priced than this list, well, by five or 10 bucks, but that matters. Yep. This stuff right here is sourced bourbon out of Indiana by all accounts. It's been finished with some French oak to give it a little bit of spice. This mm -hmm. is a spicy meatball. If you're looking for a little it's bit of a character- spicy meatball. That 
If you're looking for some character, this has it. It's got the maple syrup, the pancakes, it's got all that going on. If you try the Makers 46 earlier in this list and you want something that's like that, but has a little bit more oomph and spice and flavor, pizzazz, exactly, if you will. then this is your product. Absolutely check it out. We love it. Number six on our list is a strawberry vanilla cream saver. Wow. Yes. 17, Where is it? 17, it's right there in the bottom. Oh, okay. 1792 small batch by the Barton 1792 distillery. Typically Barton 1792 stuff leans into this kind of cherry, banana, vanilla note. That's really good emphasis on the vanilla. Mm -hmm. However, the 1792 small batch leans into a little bit more of like a red fruitiness, like a strawberry raspberry. And there's this creamy vanilla note to it. If you like fruit forward whiskey that is sweet, fruit forward bourbon, then I think this might be very difficult to beat for you. And I will say it is sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's not too sweet. I yeah. don't like super sweet bourbon and this one is not too sweet for yeah. me. Yeah, Great in cocktails, 93.7 proof I think it is mm -hmm. with some weird proof point, but I think that's it. And it's $30 or less in most markets and it's going to be sitting on shelves. You don't have to go out of your way to find it. This product is an absolutely fantastic service to the whiskey community if you like sweet bourbon. Number five on the list is the value king, perhaps on this list at coming in at $25 for a liter. That's if you break it down to a 750 milliliter price, it's 17 bucks. Sweet. We like this better than we like Evan Williams, white label yeah. bottle and bond. This is early times bottle and bond. It was recently acquired by the Sazerac company from Brown Foreman. The old bottles have a black plastic cap. You can see this has the blue metal cap. Don't come at us in the comments. We have said so much on this topic. We have taken this versus the old brown form and plastic yep. cap. We've put them in blind tastings for ourselves. We've done it with our Patreon community. We did a whole blind flight night where this product with the blue metal cap beat out E.H. Taylor small batch for 12 out of 15 people. And I think it beat out the black plastic cap for Everybody. everybody yeah there's going to be some batch variation on this so maybe you get a really good bottle maybe you get a less good bottle it's a 25 five dollar product i can't blame them for having a little bit of lax quality control standards if you get it and it's not a good one throw it in some cocktails it'll work great but quite honestly this thing has come across like a 50 dollar bottle in blind tastings for us we love the stuff you can't beat it for the price absolutely check out early times. It's got that really like cherry, it's it's like classic bourbon, mm -hmm. but it adds in like this cherry cola type of note. Yeah. And it's just really good whiskey. Can't beat it. Number four on the list is Green River Bourbon. 90 proof, 30 bucks. We had this, I had this for the first time when we were in Louisville oh. at Merle's Whiskey Kitchen. I didn't remember that. Yeah. That's it what you had? had? It had just come out on the market. And I was like, oh. you know what? Let me try that. I'm not expecting much. That was the first time I ever had a Manhattan. Yeah, I know. You were late to the game on I that. I was way late yeah. to the game. I did not realize that. This bourbon pleasantly surprised me. It's got your classic Kentucky bourbon profile, but it has this butterscotchiness to it. Yeah. And it also has this, it, it somehow makes you think of bourbons from yesteryear. It's kind of got, it's, I'm not saying it's dusty, but there's but like it's a little dusty -esque. quality in there that could, yeah. that could lean in that, it's, in that vein. It's got some character mm -hmm. and to have that much character for a $30 90 proof bourbon. It's impressive. It's my favorite 90 proof bourbon on the market right now. It's going to have a little bit of spice. So if you're new to bourbon, I would honestly recommend buying this over anything from Buffalo Trace right up front. And if it's a little too spicy for you, put it over ice or put a few drops of water in it mm -hmm. and try it that way. But I just love this stuff. I'm, I think it's such a service to the bourbon nerd community that this product is on market for 30 bucks. I can't say enough good things about Green River. If it's in your market, it's not in every market, but if it's in your market, check it out. And if it's not in your market, just stay tuned. I'm sure they're gonna be expanding even more and more. It's a fairly new product at this point. Number three needs almost no introduction. You're getting a 10 year Kentucky bourbon That's from insane. one of the biggest distilleries for 35 bucks. Russell's reserve 10 year. The flavor profile of wild turkey can be a little bit polarizing. Mm -hmm. Not everyone loves it, but it's a fantastic whiskey. You're getting a big age statement. If you've never tried wild turkey products and you're not big into bigger proof, if you're bigger proof, just go rare breed. But if you like small, like a lower proof point, mm -hmm. not as much burn, 
Russell's Reserve 10 year is a fantastic product. It's like cherry pie in a glass. And then you get that oak influence. This is going to be yeah. your best in this is going to be your best introduction to what oak can taste like in, in a, a good glass. way because sometimes oak cannot be good. Right. This is this is done well. Right. And the obvious bottle here would be Eagle Rare 10 year from Buffalo Trace, but that is not an available product. Mm. But right here, you can get a product that sits on shelves pretty much anywhere for 35 bucks. You can get that fruity sweetness. You can get the oak. It's going to be a fantastic experience for you. If you've never experienced a 10 year bourbon before, you have to buy a bottle of this and find out if you like wild turkey. We happen to love it. Number two on our list might be the best product out there. There's a reason it's not number one, because when we came up with this idea, we are like, we know what number one is yeah. under $40. This one- This is pretty close This though. one could easily be number one. And I'm just gonna say it, God bless Wild Turkey for putting out good whiskey that's affordable. You're looking at $25 for a 750 milliliter. Yep. If you wanna get a 1.75 liter, your cost per, you know, ounce or milliliter or whatever, it goes down dramatically. It's fantastic whiskey. It's like cherry pie and kind of a funky oak that it, has a lot of character to yeah, it. Yeah, and it's it's 101 proof, mm -hmm. but it drinks, it's got so much flavor that it's almost, it almost tricks you to think it's higher proof. Yeah, so it's not the whiskey you might want to venture into if you're hesitant about the burn yes. and the sting of whiskey. True. However, I would say it's worth buying, even if that burn and sting kind of gets to you a little bit, Buy this and just sip it neat. Try it with a few drops of water. Put, or put it put over on ice. ice. Yeah. If, yeah. If the burn's too much, put it over ice and it will open up and become something completely different. It's so yeah. great. Anytime we're filming any videos on this channel, this is the product that we drink before we start just to make sure it tastes like what bourbon is supposed to taste mm -hmm. like before we get into some reviews of some other stuff because this is about as quintessential as it gets. Wild Turkey does such a huge service to the bourbon nerd community for even making this product available at this price. The whiskey inside the bottle is reported to be six to eight years old, which is going to be a lot older than a lot of the other stuff on this list. It's an instant rebuy as soon as the bottles get low. Yep. We love Wild Turkey. We didn't think we loved Wild Turkey before we started doing blind tastings because we never even gave it the time of didn't day. Didn't even give it a chance and because it, it was always there. And so you kind of overlook it when something's always there. Kind of like a marriage. <laughs> you got to really take advantage of the person in, right. in a good way like and not like just unappreciate them. Right. Because they're always there. Right. It's like and a that's, good marriage. It's like Wild Turkey. Right. And check it out. I mean, I don't even know what else to say other than that. I think we've said it all on that one. Let's get into our number one. Number one, four rows of single barrel, hundred proof, 40 if you bucks. Ain't first, you're last. Hundred proof, 40 bucks. It is more than that in some markets, but it's $40 in our market yep. and it's $40 in a lot of markets. It's their high rye recipe. So this is not going to be the one that you're going to want to venture into for the newcomer. However, again, I would recommend just like Wild Turkey 101, buy a bottle of this, yep. try it over ice, try it with water. Four Roses distillate can have a very cherry sweetness about it and it doesn't usually lean medicinal. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get like cough droppy or anything like that. Yeah. You just get this really nice like cherry vanilla oak thing going mm -hmm. on. The vanilla is kind of tampered down. It's fruity sweet, but not in a cloyingly sweet way. It's a good balance of all the things that make whiskey good. Yeah. And the th reason this product is so cool is because it is a single barrel and they're all 100 proof for the shelf available $40 product. They're all their OBSV recipe, which the O and the S stay the same, but the B indicates that it's the 35% rye recipe. And then the V represents the yeast strain. They all kind of have this very approachable profile mm -hmm. to them. And while it can be kind of spicy, it's really fun about at this point in the bottle to go buy another bottle of this product and see how that single barrel yeah. compares to the single barrel that you're about to finish off. This is an instant rebuy for us. In fact, like I just said, it's going to be a rebuy before we even finish this one because we got to see how those single barrels compare. It's one of the most fun ways you can enjoy bourbon as a newcomer to the hobby. You don't have to spend a ton of money. You don't have to let FOMO, the fear of missing out, eat you alive nope. because you see all these people talking about all these whiskeys that are available out there or not available out there that you can't find, yeah. but they're somehow finding and them. And it can be overwhelming too because be. there is so much out there as well. Yeah. 
and you don't know what they paid for them. You don't know how they got them. Some people overpay for stuff. Some people go out of their way. Some people have vested relationships with stores. That's kind of how we get a lot of our stuff. But for what we spend at those stores, we have those relationships because we want those relationships, mm -hmm. not to get something out of them. Yep. That's just kind of the byproduct of them. But it would be much easier to just go buy stuff at a marked up price and not spend as much in the interim. But we buy whiskey because we like it. We love trying to do bourbons and rise and international stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what we do on the channel over here. But if you're looking for a good bourbon for $40 or under, hopefully this list served you well. Like the video if you like it and subscribe because we bring this kind of content to you guys all the time. And if you want to tune in and have a pour with us on our once a month live streams, hit the bell down there. It'll let you know when we're going live. Absolutely. I think we've said all we can say. We said a lot. You've said a lot. I have, I'm the nerd of this. I haven't yeah. said a ton, but hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Like Josh said, subscribe if you haven't and be good to each other. And until next time, cheers. cheers.